28,005 miles on a 2010 Challenger RT Classic. Super clean. Super clean Challenger. It's dirty right now though. <laughs> this is just a follow up. So far what I've done with it. If you've watched the video before, got the cold inductions, cold air intake, got the BBK oil catch can. BF Good Wrench, all season. Tires, super, super good traction. And of course, power stop slotted and drilled rotors all around. Everything I've installed myself. And then the last but not least, the SPL. Catback exhaust. I haven't had this car too long, but it's been great. Eventually I want to get that comp cam, 274 comp cam, maybe the larger intake manifold. But outside of that, I'm not going to, I'm not going to pay to get a supercharger on it. Might as well just upgrade to a larger engine it's lowered inch and a half that's about all that's been done to this thing but if you're not on the track and you want some good traction these g-force comp comp 2 all season tires are magnificent And I'm getting traction when it's monsooning, anything. Got that wolf, that coastal wolf on there. And I don't drink. Start it up again. Got planes flying by. SLP loudmouth. Now it notched down a little bit. This car's pretty badass though. Only 28,000 miles on it. I got it with 23,000. Super clean. Ten years old, not a tear, not nothing wrong with the leather, besides a little grass from the soccer game I was at. Got my gear right there still. Um, everything works. Let me see, what do I have in here right now? What's my music choice today? Oh. That was loud. System works great. Oh, another thing. I don't know if you guys are hip, but you hold the uh, music button and the home button down, and then you get this surprise. You get all these modes, zero, 60, timer, 
CNN, RPMs, engine temp, battery volts, mileage, speed, temp average outside, temp raw. <laughs> you get all these different menus. What was chimed last and just miles per hour. Then also to reset your panel up here. Let's turn the car off. Okay, now to reset it. Let me see if I can hold this up somewhere. Flip this around. All right. I'm gonna set you up right here. Okay, so to reset it, you hit your trip, your trip reset. Press your start, your push button start twice. Now, as you can see, screens are doing everything. Going through software, going through your lights, checking everything. Going through the little system, boom, boom, boom. And then it says done. Now we can start it back up. Turn it off. I'm pretty satisfied with this Challenger. I had a Lincoln LS before. Blew that transmission up, mashing around. But, a couple simple, couple things you should always get is that oil catch can, cold air intake, exhaust. Get some good brakes, rotors. You should be good. Yeah, that's a follow-up on my Challenger. Oh, one last thing. If you have a Challenger, and it ain't a stick shift, you're missing out on driving your car. I don't understand. I don't understand people getting muscle cars that aren't sticks. Kind of defeats, defeats the purpose of having a muscle car. You, know, you want to control that beast. Fish tail, do what you want, you know. Get a stick shift, man. Trade it in, get a stick shift. All right. The Challenger. <laughs>